for the old people, fire was a matter of survival. It, it wasn't something that you used or controlled, it was just a part of being one with the landscape. Fire is a necessity. The way that we do fire management is really trying to emulate what Aboriginal people have been doing for thousands of years. Burn early when it's nice and cool, the grass is wet, less intense fires, small patches of burned and unburned vegetation, basically to break up the country and, and create these cells. So if a fire starts in the middle of one of them, it can't spread to the next. That country broken up in that way prevents the spread of large late season wildfires. We're using small helicopters or small planes with an incendiary machine. As we fly over the area that we're targeting, we're just dropping lots of little incendiary caps and they start little small fires all over the place. Having that early burning doesn't kill the animals and the plants and the trees, which is bush tucker and bush medicine for us. Since the range has been doing it, you can see life coming back through the earth, you know? You can see the change. Our people have been doing it for thousands of years. Now people start to understand why traditional burning is important. People are starting to notice that burning that's done in the Kimberley is making an impact. With better fire regimes, less destructive fires, less emissions, we earn carbon credits through the fire program. It's that difference between what used to be emitted when the landscape was unmanaged. Country gives and you give back. This carbon project will not only benefit now, but benefit into the future. It's getting our own people, no matter who you are, it's that empowerment, not only as a group, but as an individual. And where did that all come from? KLC itself. It's not just about fire management. One of the core aims is engagement with Indigenous people and, and sort of empowering them to do meaningful work on their country. Traditional owners themselves actually coming out and burning the country that maybe no one in their family had since their grandparents. That's something that's really come about because of this that I don't think you can put a dollar value on. Fires can destroy, they can really destroy. But if it's done the right way, it actually helps the country to grow, to come back.